Do you know our lesson today? Yeah, it's number two. Hi there, this is Muhammad Fahmi. This lesson, guys, is related to another lesson we studied before, which is the pattern. How to use a rule to extend a number pattern and use the number pattern to solve a problem. Let's get started. In this example, as you see, we have a pattern. One circle, three circles, five circles, seven circles. Can you describe this pattern? Yes, teacher, I can. We are adding two every time. Excellent. So one plus two equals three, three plus two equals five, and so on. There are six juice boxes in one pack, 12 in two packs, and 18 in three packs. How many juice boxes are in four packs, in five packs, in six packs? Use the rule to complete the table. Describe features of the pattern, then find how many juice boxes are in 10 packs and 100 packs. As you see guys, in one pack, there are six boxes of juice. So in two packs, who can tell me how many boxes of juice we'll have? 12 boxes. Excellent. So who can describe the pattern here? What happened to one to be six? What happened to two to be 12? Yeah? We're gonna multiply by six, teacher. One multiplied by six? equals 6. 2 multiplied by 6 equals 12. So you can get the number of boxes of any number of packs you have. So we are going to multiply by 6 to get the number of boxes of any number of packs. For example, he asked us here, how many boxes will be in 4 packs? You are going to multiply 4 by 6 equals 24 boxes. In 5 packs, the same. We are going to multiply by 6. 5 multiplied by 6 equals 30. I'm going to leave the last question for you. How many boxes will be in 6 packs? Think about it. Remember that you can multiply or divide to find the pattern in these tables. What number doesn't belong? which number is not related to the other numbers in the pattern. As you see, guys, when I have one marble, John has four marbles. When I have two marbles, John has eight marbles. When I have three marbles, John has 12 marbles. So what is the pattern here? By multiplying one by four, you will get four. 2 by 4 will get 8. Excellent. 3 by 4 will get 12. Good. 4 times 4 is 16. Exactly. Not 15. So 15 doesn't relate to this pattern. So the number which doesn't belong is 15. The next example, we have a table. In this table, we are comparing the number of wheels to the number of cars. As you know guys, the car has four wheels. So when we have two cars, we'll have eight wheels. Three cars, 12 wheels. So who can tell me what happened to two to be eight? Two multiplied by four. So it's gonna be eight. Excellent. So we are multiplying by four every time. 2 multiplied by 4 equals 8, 3 multiplied by 4 equals 12, 4 multiplied by 4 equals 16. So now we are searching for the number which when we multiply it by 4, we get 20. Teacher, I have a note. Can I say it? Go ahead. When we are moving from down to up, we are going to multiply. Multiply by 4. And when we move from up, Two down, we are gonna divide by four. Well done. 
So we can divide 20 by 4 equals 5. Thank you very much. Goodbye.